didn't think you'd need both meals. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are doing a mukbang, we are doing a life update. I'm actually in my office right now because this is like the only like table because I wanted y'all to see the food while we were eating it. We ordered takeout and I'm a hungry fucking bitch. I think he was supposed to order me two full meals and instead he ordered me two half meals. This is the argument y'all. But I said I wanted a large macaroni and cheese and I wanted a BLT. And he got me the pick two of both, which is like a half meal. You can eat all that I'm going to be really surprised. Okay, y'all. Um, so I am fucking hungry. We got Panera Boots, which is one of our favorites for lunch. It's actually funny because Mickey and I literally will go to like the same restaurant every time we go out for lunch. It's either Chipotle, Water Market, or like Panera. It's like those three. It's been Chipotle every day the last two weeks. Truly. But that's your thing because you like Chipotle. I'm picky food wise, but Mickey's picky restaurant wise. <laughs> Did you fucking splatter it into your eye? Yeah, I got it in my eye. Does, does it sting? No, it doesn't sting. I'm powerful. Well, I'm sorry, but like if a restaurant has like a weird name, or it's like some type of weird like food that I've never eaten before, I don't- I'm just not about that, y'all. So you literally have to trick them. Like on Easter, we went out for dinner, because we never cook. And the only restaurant that was open in our town was this Indian restaurant. Mickey literally went to the Indian restaurant, and he was like, literally, I'm not gonna eat anything, I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm like, just order what I'm having. He ordered it, he loved it, and then we went there like the next five days. With five days that. in a row, yeah. Yeah. Well, then against Indian food, it's just, it's kind of spicy. You just don't like trying new things. I mean, I guess, sure. Yeah. So that's why we eat at the same restaurant every day. But Tea Sisters, our last, like, little mukbang, I think, we've done a couple of, like, just, like, life update videos before. Last life update, Mickey was getting ready to move out here. Now Mickey has moved out here. We live together. And what's your tea, sis? Cheers! The motherfucking tea! It's different. <laughs> Very different than a long distance relationship, guys. Literally, seeing that person, you know, every two weeks for a weekend is one thing, you know? But when you just, like, after that, and then you transition to literally living with, with that person for every second of every day, and, like, if you're like me where you don't have a license, and you can't really go off and do your own thing, you kind of have to be a little trapped. You kind of have to do whatever the other person's doing, because <laughs> they don't have a way to get anywhere. But I love it. It's nice. There's more pros than cons. But... First of all, does the day you moved out here, I would, like, get your license. Get your license. He does nothing. I've been so busy with the house. I have no time sure. to do anything. I'm setting no up the olives. last room right now. I literally said no gym. olives, and they, there's two olives in here. Well, I literally said two full size meals, and there's literally just a half meal in front of me. <laughs> but let's talk about what are like the biggest problems. This different that you didn't think was going to be a thing. That makes sense. I guess everything that's happened thus far, I've been expecting. I didn't, guys. I didn't think we we're going to get dogs. Now we have four of them. Well, I knew we were going to get four dogs. And then the only thing I'm like, just honestly, something that hasn't happened that I've expected to already have happened is like me getting pregnant. I'm genuinely surprised. I haven't gotten pregnant yet. I'm guys. not a virgin, guys, but I am a born again virgin. I did. I don't know. I you thought just born. by now I would have been. I would have been pregnant. But I'm not. I'm. You know, everyone goes at their own pace. But I guess everything that's happened with our relationship, I guess I've seen coming and expected, like the fights and stuff. Like I knew, like you'd probably be a little messy, and I'd probably be a little clean, and like I'm clean now, though. I'm not really. You messy. are clean now. I'm clean all the time. I have transformed. You guys know because on my story, I post about it all the time, and everyone's like, "Is Jake making you clean again?" <laughs> And I'm like, yes! <laughs> I don't make you clean. No, he doesn't make me clean, but... You know, each person has roles. roles. has roles. There's roles that I have to do as a house husband. <laughs> and I'm the working woman, so I go out and I make the money and I bring it home. And I'm know? the trophy husband. And yeah, exactly. The man candy that you have when you go to events. We went to our first event. Tuesday, we went to a movie premiere. That was actually so much fun. Oh, well, we got the Mexican Coke. So good. The ingredients are actually really good. Carbonated water, cane sugar, caramel color, natural flavor. Drink it. Caffeine. Drink it. No, I don't do caffeine. We actually have gotten a lot better with fighting, like, the last, like, couple weeks. I mean, we did just get we into really a fight. fight. 10 minutes ago, but... It wasn't like, a huge fight. I was just a hangry bitch. Jake does certain things, guys, and, like, for me, like, big things don't piss me off. It's, like, the really little things that really grind my gears. Like, Jake will Grind leave... your gears? Yeah, grinds my gears. What the fuck? Okay. Jake will leave, like, his glasses in the basement, or his computer charger in the basement, and then he asks me to go get it. Since I'm pathetic, I go, I go get it. But literally, it's, like, 20 times a day, and I'm like, literally, how do you keep I get used to your... it all the time, too. Last night, I asked you to get me water, and you said maybe, and then I had to go upstairs and make it myself. First of all, there's a kitchen down here with, like, a whole <laughs> drink full of drinks. But we have had a couple fights where I've packed my bags and said I'm going home. Yeah. We've had one fight where I packed your bags and put them in the front yeah. door, and, then, and, and then said then, you're going home. And then he apologized. But no, any relationship couple that you see like on Instagram, YouTube, anything, girl, they have their fights and it's real and it happens and not to like hide it and like act like we don't have fights, we do have fights all the time. Yeah. I think there might actually be a couple of clips of us fighting. <laughs> do we have any? Yeah, I was filming. <laughs> 
when I screamed like really loud. Can you play it right now? No. Nikki got really mad. Every time I order him food, he claims I order him the wrong meal. I say, Mickey, I want large mac and cheese and the BLT. And he thought, okay, that means the pick too. Because it's two things from Panera Bread and they have a pick too. And I got you the large mac and cheese. But how often do I order two entrees? Have you eaten? Are you going to eat that whole sandwich? No, I'm actually really full. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I know. I'm like fighting for nothing. I think the biggest change for like it being out at like long distance is like for me at least I don't get like as jealous. Like I get jealous like when you hang out with your friends and like oh I just wish that I could like be there too. Like not like you shouldn't be able to hang out with your friends, but I was like, oh I just feel like like I hadn't seen him in two weeks and like it would be like I don't know, it just was hard. I got really jealous really easy when you do it with long distance. You're jealous too in space though. I am jealous, but I, I feel like I've gotten way better. I was really crazy. Mm. Nikki is literally the type of guy, we're walking in a mall, and like, I'll just randomly like make eye contact with another guy. Like, not even in any other way, but like, it just happens. You look around the fucking mall and it just happens. It's not that I was like checking out another guy, but he's like, he's like, mm, you like him? Yeah. <laughs> I do do he's that. He's like, you're disgusting. <laughs> and then like, there was this guy on TikTok that like was supposed to look just like Mickey. And so he showed me, I was like, I kept asking to see the video because I wanted to see it because apparently the guy looked just like Mickey. Whatever, Mickey's like, no, I don't want you like seeing that. Because he's like, I mean, like, I don't care. We got a coffee table book for Restoration Hardware. Oh my God, you have And it's a Calvin Klein. This is a really great, cool, it's like a book. pornographic book, guys. It is not a pornographic book. It is a shirtless guy on cover. What do you guys think? Black and white, it's art. It's beautiful. I'd say comment down below if you think this book is a little pornographic, but uh, YouTube still has your comments disabled. Oh my God, <laughs> true. Anyway, Mickey and I, I think our next step would be to buy a house. Yeah, because that's what we're trying to do. As crazy as like transferring from long distance to not long distance, is just like, it's been good. Like, it's different for me than Jake just because, like, I'm 2,000 miles away from home, like, away from my family and 1, friends. 1,500 miles away from home for my family and friends. Mm -hmm. I don't, like, get to see them all the time like I used to, so, like, I think that's different. So, like, it is hard in that aspect, but, I mean, I don't know. I like it. I'm happy I did it. For my me, it's better because I was, like, so I didn't have any friends. I never left my house, and like I was just really like depressed when like you weren't around, cause like I missed you, and like I just I don't know I didn't have any friends. So like now that you've been here, it's like I've kind of had someone to like hang out with and like share my life with, other than just like being like a loner, like all by myself in my house. Yeah, cause I did. I mean, I had a lot of friends. <laughs> like you're my best friend now. But like, what I really value more than anything in the world is like alone time. And like I can't. I, the last time I had alone time was when I had 103 temperature and I was sick for two days. And as miserable as it was, I was like, oh my God, I'm alone. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> when you move out for the first time, don't get a house, get like a small apartment. Yes, that was a huge mistake on our part. We went straight for a house. We have a 3,500 square foot house. It's, it's bigger than that. We don't need, it's bigger than that. We don't need that room. We had to furnish the entire house, which took us three months. We're finally almost done. We're not even done yet. It's been so stressful. Don't get four dogs after living together for three months. Like, we... <laughs> no, but like, that was a crazy thing with us. It's like, instead of like doing a normal apartment, we buy this huge house. And it's like six bedrooms, and I don't even know how big it is, but it's a huge house. And like the apartment would have been like so much easier to take care of, so much easier to furnish. We and then we got four the dogs. And then we got four dogs, which is another thing. And we have Bailey who like lives up with me or my mom. So like sometimes we even have five dogs here. We've made a lot of mistakes. So I think it was just like jumping in and then having like too much on our plate. So it was stressful at first, but now that it's like all good like it was fine yeah, and that's usually it. what all of our fights were it was about like the house or about the dogs now that we got everything under control it's like good now no literally every single fight we had was about the dogs or the house exactly why do i get nauseous every time after i eat i was like that but like i literally knew i'd get nauseous so i got chicken meal soup and then a salad yeah like you'll eat healthy meals but then he'll go down and like i have a night. soda and he's drinking lemonade with his thing and have Oreos and cookies. He literally had milk and like Oreos and cookies at 2 a.m. last night. I ate really healthy till like 12 at night and then I, the devil comes and he starts whispering and my ears like And then Jake does that and I'm like, I need to get an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> it's my house now so I can do things like that. <laughs> and I guess when I'm cleaning it up, it doesn't matter. I clean all the time too. It's like 80-20, I do 80% of the cleaning. But I do go to D.C. a lot, and when I go to D.C., then Jake has to do 100%. Guys, so why is it a fucking dog door? When your friends visited, I did everything, too. Yeah, when Kevin visited, I did a lot, too.
the one thing that really pisses me off though guys is like I love horror movies and horror TV shows and make thrillers and like oh god anything that has to do with murder I'm like oh my god like I love murder documentaries like the keepers on Netflix was so good abducted in plain sight evil genius like all this stuff I really ah! Abel JDS, Mickey made me watch that like his first time ever staying like in Colorado. <laughs> he literally, cause this was like his, like our first night like ever like staying together. He came out here for like a week. He was like, let's watch Evil Genius and I was like. Cause my dad told me it was really good and he knew I'd like it, which I did. But basically five minutes into it, it's like a, this guy gets blown up and it's like based on a true story. And it's like the real footage of him being blown up. But I don't want to think about it. It terrorized me. Jake won't let me watch it. Cause, cause and if I want to watch it, I have to watch it by myself. Like it's not like I won't let you watch it. I just don't want to. He doesn't want to watch Mickey it. He will literally. So the time we watch TV is like when we go to bed. And so like I'm like laying down ready for bed. We're both in bed, and then he wants to pull that shit while I'm like about to go to sleep. It's like I can't sleep to that. Like fuck, I can't watch that. So like, you're gonna watch horror movies. Watch it before we go to bed in another room. Yeah, like I watched The OA, which is really good if you haven't watched it, watch that. And then I started watching a show called Chambers, which is so good, and I've been waiting to watch it, but Jake will not budge and won't watch it with me. You could go watch it right now if you wanted to. And <laughs> just get scared, and I'd rather not live my life in fear, you know what I mean? So I just try not to scare myself. Yeah, well Jake also got scared of Stranger Things. You know, oh, like yeah, just petting my leg hair? I am petting your leg hair. <laughs> it's so fuzzy. Okay, what's our three things of advice to give people in long distance relationships? Stop it, it now, because it's <laughs> not worth it! No, just kidding. <laughs> How the fuck can you say I'm that? just kidding! No. Joke. Go touch Lana Del Rey. I wish I could. Anyway, guys, it's worth it in the long run. It um, really is. If both of you want to make it work, you can make it work. Once a when cheater, you're always a cheater. What else? That was a joke. The three things I think of advice is like when you do move in together, start slow, get an apartment, maybe get a dog after like a year. Don't buy a dog. Kid. Don't get a huge f***ing house and then four dogs within the first month of you moving in. That's what I would recommend. But in the end, it's worth it too. Even I love all my four babies. Come here, baby. Come yeah. sit down. All right, ladies, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.